Matchup on the main card. We got a men's bantamweight matchup between Rayoni Barcelos going up against Trevin Jones. Barcelos is a, a wrestler uh, with a background in BJJ and striking, whereas Trevin Jones fights in the southpaw position and has a background in striking and grappling. Uh, first, we got Barcelos. He, he has knockout power. He has very underrated leg kicks that he likes to use. He likes the double leg, double leg takedown and the leg trip to get the fight to the mat. He needs to improve his striking defense and his pace. And then he needs to protect his chin, of course. So the chin is the big factor in his fights. He gets knocked out when he loses. But when he wins, he grapples well. And he's riding a losing streak right now of two fights. Whereas Trevin Jones is very well-rounded. He has good power in his hands. He has good grappling. His hand speed is impeccable. He uses his feints to set up his striking, but he gets hit a lot. His striking defense is, is something that has been aching him lately. And then his cardio. He likes to start out fast, but then he starts to go downhill from there. And he's never been a guy to rack up a lot of volume. So I feel like that's going to be a thing that has to change in a fight like this because and when you don't throw a lot of volume, you have to mix in the grappling and the striking to kind of uh, outmask what your opponent is doing if they can throw for more volume. And with with this, like, Barcelos is a guy that can knock you out or he can mix in both things. And that's why I think this is going to be an interesting matchup here because – I could see either guy knock each other out, but what's going to be the difference maker in this matchup? And I feel like it's going to be the pushing up against the cage and the, and the grappling and cardio of uh, Barcelos. I think it's going to be a little bit better. I think he's hungry because he's coming in on a two-fight losing streak. He needs to win. And I think the power game is going to be – and leg kicks are going to play a part. I think – throwing the leg kicks, moving, throwing the leg kicks, and then mixing in the striking as like a secondary thing. It's going to play dividends for a guy like Barcelos against Jones because Jones is going to use his hands first and then look to grapple afterwards. Whereas if you use the leg kicks, you can get those extra shots in from range and then get trying to get in the inside and go in and out, in and out, and you're going to rack up the volume here and there. But – I think he's going to do it. I think he's going to wind up tiring out into Trevin Jones. I could see a round two or round three knockout for Barcelos. I think he gets it done. I think he gets back to the win column. And it's going to be a very competitive fight. I think it might be one of the very underrated match uh, 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 matches of the card here uh, on UFC Fight Night is Barcelos versus Jones because of the, what they're going to do for the majority of the fight. But I'm going to go Rayoni Basolos by round three knockout over Trevin Jones. I think he gets it done. I think these guys go at it. And I think Barcelos just has just this much more than Jones uh, with cardio and volume and power to get the job done. So once again, I'm going Rayoni Barcelos over Trevin Jones by third round knockout. <laughs> 